We hear a lot about AI sort of being doom and disaster, but this seems like a great application of it, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. Good morning to both of you. It's great to be on the show and, and thank you thank you for having me on. Um, it's a very exciting time for artificial intelligence in, in general uh, within the medical community in the UK. And the UK is actually leading in this space. And the work that Dr. Coomer and colleagues have been involved in, in Frimley here is, again, assisting in building trust in the application of this technology right across the NHS to uh, achieve the accuracy levels that have been achieved through this pilot study are an indication of the value that this technology can bring to uh, you know, a stretched workforce. The Royal College of Radiologists estimate that by 2027, we'll have 40% um, a deficit in, 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 uh, in radiologist numbers, which is huge. So uh we in this community, within the industry that I remain, we, we, we want to ensure that we do more with the precious resource that we have. Yes, absolutely. I mean, the potential is fantastic, especially when we're talking about a wait list currently at the NHS of over 7 million people. I mean, this could really speed up the process of getting people diagnosed with cancer. See, it, 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 exactly it. And if we can identify nodules and indications of disease earlier in the patient's pathway, it's better for the patient, it's better for the clinicians that are looking after those patients. And ultimately, it's better for the organisations themselves, the trusts that are trying to manage these work lists. Uh, we can't onboard radiologists and radiographers at the same pace that we're seeing the demand come through for imaging. We need to work smarter. And that's how the, the solutions that we provide at Cure can really assist the NHS. Uh, Darren, in, in terms of uh, our story, we're one of the most deployed AI solutions globally, and we've a lot of experience in this space. And uh, I think a lot of people need to get beyond the hype and the myth associated with this technology. Uh, our technology is a highly regulated medical device and uh, something that is very to the contrary of what's out there in general media, media right now in terms of some of the stories that we're all aware of. So um, we're very proud of the work that we're doing and the, the clinicians that are really pioneering this. OK, Darren, now I'm assuming that what happens here is that um, AI is just fed thousands and thousands and thousands of images, some which we know are positive, some which we know are negative, and it learns the pattern of which is which. But here's the bigger question. Will this make radiologists and doctors redundant? No, no not at all. Uh, we see it as an augment and, uh, augmenting their experience. So we're doing more with the precious resource that we have. Um, and really what you will see is that it will become part of a modern delivery of radiology uh, services right across the NHS and indeed globally. So it's a situation of, um, you know, many years ago I worked in, in pre-analytical robotics and pathology. And when we introduced that, uh, a lot of people are up in arms that this is going to replace us. It's, it's going to, to take our jobs and quite the contrary. Uh, we have an opportunity here to um, uh, provide new career pathways for uh, clinicians too and give clinicians more time with the, with the patients, uh, ultimately alleviating them to do more of the multidisciplinary work that they really want to, to want to spend more time on. Do you see artificial intelligence being at the heart of the NHS in the future? It's an integral part and, and will be a, a key contributor to the success of us achieving the, the targets that we need to achieve holistically. Um, we're also seeing that we're operating at a disease level. So it's a high medical value as part of precision medicine. So we can identify patients quicker. We can get them through to treatment quicker. Uh, that's ultimately our aim. Our, our goal and mission at Cure is to touch the lives of a billion people and make uh, healthcare accessible to as many people as we can. And this is uh, one such route.